Are you someone who is working on different projects, just like making circuits, creating Arduino-based projects, or something electronic, or else do you create different toys and circuits just for your leisure time, then you have came to the right place. So when you are doing something like that, it is necessary to have a proper plan for that, or in other words, you need a diagram which make your work easy. So when doing your project, it will be really easy for you. Now, in this video I am going to show you how to draw a diagram for your projects or circuits just like this, this and like this. Then let's go to the video. So to draw circuit diagrams I am personally using Fritzing. Fritzing is an open source hardware initiative that makes electronics accessible as a creative material for anyone. So now I am going to open Fritzing. This is the welcome screen of the Fritzing. And in the welcome screen, they are providing you a new tip every day. Which is personally really helpful for me. And this is Fritzing Fab, this an online service which ship the electronics you need to your home. This is Fritzing Blog, where they post their latest news. Okay, now let's open a new sketch to see how it looks like. Here, this is the interface of Fritzing. And this is the menu bar of Fritzing, it is consist with file, edit, part, view, window, routing and help. So, here is your workspace. And this is the project view panel, where the virtual circuit is built and edited in breadboard, schematic or PCB view. But they also have added, welcome screen also as a view. The breadboard view is wherever you'd possibly begin your project. Here you'll be able to simply build your virtual circuit exactly the way your real circuit feels like. Using this view you can easily manage and plan your circuit before you start it. Trust me, it will help you a lot. And in this view, they have provided you a breadboard. You can simply find that by zooming out and in. This is schematic view, this is for a someone who works with circuit symbols, and as because at the moment there is only breadboard, schematic view do not show anything. This is PCB view. And they also have provided you the facility to type codes. Okay guys, now this is the most important part, so the palette which is in the right side corner is the part library, this includes hundreds of different electronic parts. Including Arduino, Sparkfun, Intel, Snootlab, Atlas Scientific and many more. If you can't find the part that you want, you can even add them through internet. And below the part library, there is part inspector which shows information about a selected part such as properties, tags and a description. So now let's see an example. Okay, like this you can simply drag and drop the parts you needed from the part library just like I dragged the Arduino Uno board from there. And just like this, you can connect parts with wires according to your favor. For that just click on the pin you want to connect with and take it to the point where it should be fixed. And you can even change the color of the wire. You can add more wires, rotate the parts, add notes and much more. And from the part library, you can even add parts like LEDs, microphones, battery packs and etc. So now let's see how our schematic view and PCB view looks like this time. So as you can see, both of the views have updated. Now, if you are finished drawing, you can simply upload code from there.
So, this is a circuit diagram I drew before, and I think now you can also draw a circuit like this, so however the circuit hasn't finished yet, but for now let's export it, so I want to export this as a PNG image, and I am going to export it now, to export it simply go file, export, as image in PNG. Actually, Fritzing is one of the most suitable software to draw circuits, and, today I just wanted to teach you what this is, and please don't take this as a tutorial video, and this is just a basic thing, in Fritzing you can do much more. So, I hope you learned something today, and if you are please don't forget to subscribe my channel.